Um, what was your involvement with Integrity when you? Because like hmm. you're listed as playing in Integrity, but I was just wondering what record and what era. Because I know there's a photo of you. <laughs> Oh, wow. I didn't know there was actually a photo. But, um, like, God, we were in high school, and so Dwight had this idea. Like, we'd always, like, either sleep at each other's houses. And uh, I remember he had this book that he got from, like, the secondhand bookstore, and it was um, Integrity was the title of it. Mm Mm-hmm. And the, and the, the the lettering is pretty much the shirt letter. I was like, wow. I was like, he was just like, yeah, I'm taking that. And, uh, he's like, I'm going to start making shirts of this band integrity and I'm not going to, and there's not even going to be a band. (laughs) I'm just going to make up a band. So he made up like an idea of this band integrity. They were like a straight edge band and they're band and they're extremely violent. (laughs) <laughs> and then they do shows and they're just beating up people with beers and you know and he gave it like this whole background story you know and then making shirts at his high school um they had like a printing area where you could do he's like you can do them for free there and i'm gonna sell them at shows and just talk about this band integrity that doesn't even exist <laughs> the people just started to really believe it. That's it was awesome. kind of like, <laughs> kind of like fake news. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just like spreading the word, like early fake news. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so he does this for a while where people are really like, Oh my God, I'm terrified of this band. You know, I heard about him playing over there and I'm just like, Oh, let's stop it. You know, like I, I'm, I'm not saying anything, but I'm just hearing people talking about, I'm like, really? Like, what what did you hear about them, you know? And it was just like, I didn't say to anybody, like, this is bullshit, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, Dwight thought it was funny. And then he was like, ah, oh, we should really do something. We should start a band. And I was like, all right. And, um, <laughs> and then we're just, like, finding, like, friends of ours. Or basically, none of us really could play any instruments. <laughs> and... Um, until finally he found people that wanted to the Melnick brother Melnick brothers who could actually play a little bit. And, uh, Scott Stern, rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, he played for a little bit, I think in the very beginning and just kind of like force these friends of ours to play in the band. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kind of stepped back. I was like, okay, you go and, and, and do this. You know, like, <laughs> That's so awesome. Cause I remember a friend gave me a mixtape back in the nineties and it was confront on a radio show. And at one point <laughs> Dwid calls in and he goes, I'm from the band integrity and I represent the dark side of straight edge. And the confront <laughs> guys get like, you know, like, yeah, whatever, whatever. Oh my God. He was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I got to find that tape. <laughs> oh my God. I totally believe it though, because I've heard about that. And uh, another one where he just starts destroying like these screwdriver albums in the studio <laughs> on on air. <laughs> like they're like, you cannot destroy the property here. <laughs> and a college radio station, he's just like smashing screwdriver albums. <laughs> 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 but um, I mean, it was really outrageous. It was really difficult to be friends with him. I gotta say, I mean. I was with him like every day almost, you know, and he was going, I mean, oh man, it was just really, really, and he lived on the other side of the town. Um, but it's just constant trouble all the time. Like the worst of the worst scenarios you could possibly imagine. <laughs> they would just somehow play out, you know, um, for numerous times, you know, it was just, a lot of drama, but he, we were very good friends, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of huge personalities in that scene, too. Jesus like, Christ, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny how many legendary bands start with that formula of almost building the legend before you worry about the music for the band. <laughs> right, right. Like, oh, my God. It, it definitely wasn't planned out that way. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to plan anything out like that. I mean, I love hearing 
people tell the stories of certain stories, but um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy to see Dwight now. I mean, he's definitely changed so much, and this is wonderful to see. You know, it's it's night and day, you know. But it was inevitable, you know. It was just like really growing up, and um, and just developing, you know one's values you know it's it's a completely different person now with like a family and responsibilities and and everything so um but it was definitely like wild 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 times <laughs>